Got it. We run it? Yep. Right, so on the module resource on the module resources on the Moodle page. Go to the resources down at the bottom. Watch some of these videos by the way. I'm not seeing many hits on these, but I'm still going to record them. Um, down here look, I've put probably my main reference into uh, SolarBox. I usually visit there first and then wander off onto YouTube and so on. But this site is really good because it gives you a whole load of different designs that you can make. And <coughs> you've got what's called a 1381 based hopper, which is uh, an under voltage protection device is used in that. Uh, my preferred favourite actually are the 555 based uh, hoppers. You can see at the top here this is a single stage one to drive one motor. The one underneath has two motors, so this can go left and right and so on. Um, you've got one here, these are all using photodiodes, but they don't have to, you can just use a normal diode on here if you wish. Um, the 1381 version, so we don't have any 1381s, or they're very difficult to get hold of, but we can get a very similar one to it. So you can see this device here is using this under voltage protection uh, device. Um, Someone's built one with a flashing LED, which is interesting. And this one here is what's called the classic Miller circuit, but again, we're using this under voltage protection uh, device here. If you want one of those, you're going to have to tell us and we can order some up. But by far the most sensible one, I think, is to use the one that involves the 555 timer. They're not the only circuits, so if you just keep searching solar bots, you will find lots and lots of different versions of this.